Gospel of January the 14th, 2016 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark A leper came to him and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad, so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places. And people kept coming to him from everywhere. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us have a little contest so that we can understand a little bit deeper on this. Leprosy back then was supposed to be or was understood as punishment for sin. And any Israelite that became ill with skin disease known as leprosy would have to be taken to the priest and the priest after examination would declare whether he was a leper or not. If he was a leper he would write it down in the book and then ordered excommunicated. He would order him excom or her excommunicated of the community. Let us remember that back then the cities were very small and all of them were walled. And they were walled because they were afraid of lions, afraid of wolves, afraid of all kinds of animals and beasts, as well as robbers and assassins that roamed in the wilderness. To be outside the walls of the wall, I mean to be outside the walls of the city, was very dangerous and was as a fact an excommunication of the people. Most times when there were a few lepers in a, near a town, they would band together, probably live in a cave, they would receive their food from one of, the fa of their relatives, and they had to carry some sort of object to make noise, so that they would warn anyone approaching them that they were unclean. If they dared come back to the city or approach a healthy person, punishment for that was stoning to death. With that in mind, let us imagine this leper risking what he had left of life just to prostrate before the Lord. Had the Lord be being upset, they would have killed him. But he was not disgusted. Then imagine that man, if you wish, you can make me clean. He's not demanding. He's humbly recognizing in Jesus someone who is greater than a doctor, who is greater than a king. Only God could lift off the sins which caused the leper, the leprosy. He was recognizing him. In one, in the, if I am not mistaken, in the gospel in Greek it says Kyrie, which means also Lord. If you wish, you can make me clean. Again, our translation is not very good, neither in English. It is something that hit more with pity. Splachtemai is the word in Greek. The bowels of the Lord, his innards, were moved with deep compassion. Immediately he stretched out his hand to touch the leper. I do will it. Be made clean. 
He didn't cringe at the smell or the appearance of his of his skin. He touched him. And immediately he was made clean. Even though he warned him not to tell anyone, yet he said, Call yourself to the priest, offer for your cleansing what is prescribed. Why? Because he had to go back to the priest, and the priest made the, the, the proper annotation in the book that he was being received back in the communion of the town. And the offering that Moses prescribed was an offering to God who had made the cleansing for him possible. And it was proof for them, the deniers of Jesus Christ, because on reading those books, they would have to come to realize that the miracle had been done through the hands of the Lord Jesus. So that again, Mark is presenting our Lord Jesus as the Son of God, God himself. This is the second thought. The first one that I said, of course, is the compassion, the deep compassion of our Lord when he receives someone who is humble, who is lost. He immediately is compassionate with us. The second one is the consequence for the man of Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus it says, it was impossible for Jesus to enter the town openly, to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places. It was as if the Lord had taken the place of the leper. In fact, that is exactly what happened. The one that previously could not enter into town, she exchanged the place. And not only the place of the leopard, but my place and your place as condemned on the cross for our sins. He was willing to do that. That is why he repaid. Not only that, but he was willing to take up all our sins and to carry them by themselves, by himself, so that he would make us clean, all of us, that he would cleanse us, that he would make us clean. Why then is it so difficult for you and me to help our brothers? Why do we have to go on figuring out what is the cost for you and me before we do anything? Oh Lord, give us the strength and the faith not to count the costs, but to see your face and to dare do what you want us to do. It is easy for us to help those that we like. We choose whom to help. We see in the passage of the Gospel how Lord did, did not refuse this man, even though he might have been a sinner, even though he might have been disgusting, he was willing to take his place. Why can't we? Because we lack the love of God. Because we cannot splach the mind. We cannot, we cannot have pity that deep. If we had, we certainly would. So we have to humbly ask our today, our Lord, Lord, if you wish, you can make us clean. Lord, in your name, increase the Holy Spirit in all of us. Until we meet in heaven, God bless you all, brothers.